So here's something we have never tried before, motion capture. A couple of months ago, Xsense reached out to us and asked if we wanted to try out their motion capture suit. And our first thought was, we're going to need a bigger studio. However, at a second glance, we realized that the suit just uses on-body motion sensors. This is really high-end hardware. And so you can imagine we were pretty excited when we received this very James Bond looking suitcase in the mail. But before we look at what's inside this shady box, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with more than 28,000 quality classes on game development, tech and more. You can for example check out this really cool class on how to use ProBuilder in Unity. It will take you all the way from installing ProBuilder to learning how to sketch out your levels. The course touches on subjects such as ProGrids, the material editor, sculpting and painting with polybrush and much more. Skillshare is the perfect platform to keep learning and thriving and a premium Skillshare membership gives you unlimited access to all classes for less than $10 a month. Join more than 7 million other creators by simply clicking the link in the description and the first 500 people will receive their first two months for free. So the first thing to do was of course open the box and figure out the ups and downs of all the included sensors, wires, battery packs and so on. We were pretty overwhelmed with the amount of hardware packed together here. The suit even came with a router for wirelessly connecting it to a computer. And an action figure. Yes. As for setup, it wasn't without its difficulties. Xsense had offered to set up a Skype call with us to help us get started, and even with their help, it took us quite a few hours to get everything working. Of course, this process can be much faster if you know what you're doing. The suit was fairly easy to put on, we just had to place and link together all the sensors, throw on a battery pack and the on-suit computer, and we were set. Since we have no prior experience with equipment like this, we had some trouble getting the suit to connect to the computer. In fact, we ended up hardwiring this suit to a laptop in order to get it to recognize. After that though, everything worked flawlessly, we calibrated the suit by getting Andreas to give us his best catwalk and voila! The suit was tracking his motion in real time, to a shocking degree of precision and pretty much without any input lag. At this point, we were pretty excited. Andreas broke out into a quick dance and overall we just recorded some quick movements to test out. And with that, it was time to import the movement into Unity. First, the software did a processing pass by analyzing the movement and getting rid of imperfections. After that, getting the animations into Unity was as easy as exporting to an FBX. In fact, it was so easy that we didn't even try out the live link feature that allows you to see movements in Unity in real time. So after setting up the right import settings in Unity and downloading the Xsense Asset Store package, we managed to get the test character moving around the scene. So we set up a quick example level and boom, we had a dancing robot. Now we had the idea to search the asset store for free characters that we could try and apply this animation to. In theory, it should work as long as the character uses a humanoid rig. And indeed it did. In fact, we had a crazy amount of fun quickly swapping out characters and I think it really shows the opportunities with using motion capture with an environment like Unity. It gives you endless amounts of opportunity to reuse animations across a wide range of characters. So at this point, we concluded that this suit works extremely well. When it works. And it's actually reliable when you start to learn the different tricks to making the software do what you want it to. Next up, we wanted to try out on-body recording. So we enabled it through the software and went outside. It was hilarious to watch Andreas casually stroll down the street wearing, well, that. We decided he looked like a mashup between an 80s jogger and a superhero. Recording outside was really easy. Press a button to calibrate and then press the same button to record. First, we went to the bench where we had shot the intro for this video. We wanted to see if the tracking could be precise enough to allow him to sit on a bench in virtual space without sliding around. As you can see from the recording, it wasn't perfect. The suit tracking works extremely well with horizontal movement, but moving the core of your body on the y-axis seemed to cause the suit to realign a bit. However, we later found out that this was due to our lack of knowledge of the software, as you'll see later. I think we managed to work around it by blending together the good parts of the animation to clean it up a bit. Now remember, this is just using raw animations with fast processing. If you want, you can always open up the animation in a standalone software to do corrections. However, for this test, we couldn't be bothered. 
And in general, we recorded under not so ideal conditions. We didn't record on flat ground. In fact, most of the places we recorded were on a slope. And we also tried jumping on and from things, which didn't turn out so well. We decided to stay clear of height differences going forward. But apparently there are features in the software that allows for better height tracking. We just didn't know at the time. However, one thing that the suit did really well right out the box was jumping. We managed to track Andreas doing a backflip, which I think looked really, really cool, especially on a big sci-fi robot. And we also had him jump over an obstacle, in this case, me. We asked him what we should replace me with in the Unity scene, and he requested a goat. So we went goat shopping. On the asset store, of course. Unfortunately, there weren't any free goats available, so instead we decided on a symbol barrel from the Western Props Pack. I think it ended up looking really cool, and it's so fun to be able to spectate the movement from different angles. We also wanted to try having two characters interact with each other. This was of course a challenge, since we had to use the same suit for both characters. We quickly put together a fighting sequence and had Andreas reenact both sides of the fight with me as a sparring partner. Considering that we recorded everything in less than 10 minutes, the result was pretty great. However, I think this would have been the perfect place to use Live Link to preview what the animations look like with a sword and a shield in hand. Finally, we of course had to put together a tiny game. And I don't think there's any game more animation dependent than a fighting game. So we had Andreas go through various fighting movements and loaded them all into Unity. I then programmed a simple controller to make the character change animation based on player input, and that's pretty much it. Of course, adding colliders, hit detection, reactions, and all the gameplay systems is for another day. And that's pretty much all we had time to do in this video. Of course, a big thanks to Xsense for reaching out and letting us borrow this really cool suit. Also, don't forget to check out Skillshare. Simply click the link in the description and the first 500 people will receive their first two months for free. On that, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Also, special thank... Hey, do you want to do it? Yeah, you should do it. All right. Thanks to all of the Patreon supporters who donated in April. And a special thanks to Infinity PBR, Cyborg Mommy, Dennis Sullivan, Chris, Shane Cleveland, Fa Faisal, 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 Faisal Marify, Lincoln Chung, Leo Lisette, Runen, Daniel Dusanik, Konstantinas Karentas, Naoki Iwasaki, Gregory Pierce, Rob Fern, Dr. Poon Moon, Erasmus, Kirill Sviderski, Tim Avhaltabak, and Tyson Konovsky. You guys... No, you know what? I, I can't. I'm not authorized for that. You have to do that. You guys rock. <laughs>